Hey y'all, this is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. Um, sitting here at home on a rainy Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> it's uh, the 13th of August. And there's not a whole lot I can do around here in the rain or out at the cabin in the rain. So I thought I'd put a video together for you. Uh, some thoughts I had. And get some, you know, get some ideas from you guys. We can all start talking about what we can do with these. You know, a, a, a big thing is recycling of plastics. And all of the plastics out there that are not recycled. And everybody I know has prescription bottles. These I peeled all the labels off of. They're real easy to peel off. But I'm thinking, what are other uses for these? What else can these be used for? And uh, versus just throwing them out. So, a couple things about them that I wasn't aware of till I, till I got to looking into it. Um, you know, you have to wash them all out before you do anything with them. But these are, they're not what you call waterproof, but they are watertight. Now, I've had them underwater, um, and they don't, water didn't get in them. You know, if you jiggle around the lid and move it around, it might. But to just drop that down in the water, uh, in a bowl of water, it didn't get inside it. They have to stay, the pills, the medications, they have to stay dry. So they're, they're moisture resistant, but water can't get in them either. Which is one of the things that got me to thinking about what are some of the stuff we could use them for. And I thought, you know what? This little bottle is easy to pack. And can go in little crooks and nannies all, all over the place. Uh, in the loops uh, on your packs. I mean, it's just unlimited where you can store them. If they get wet, you know, if you got them in, in loops on the outside of your uh, pack, even if they get wet, if it rains, it's not going to get inside here. So, there's just so many things that we could do with them. And one of the things I did, I was trying out, um, take one. Take a couple of mini bics, the lighters, there you go. You have a watertight container with two big lighters in it to go in your bug out bag or your get home bag, whatever, your backpacking bag. There's your couple of lighters to start fires with. Not going to get wet. Uh, another thing that I thought would be pretty cool that you can carry in your bag. These are condiment packages from restaurants. Um, I've got a mustard and two ketchups here. All right? I don't want to put this in my bag because what if one of them leaks? But inside there, stick it in any corner of your bag or wherever you want it. And there you go. Uh, you can have that. You can put a sewing kit, a fishing kit. Um, you know, we all have the paracord bracelets, survival bracelets. If you have to use that and you undo it all, you have, you know, six or so feet, eight feet of paracord, that will go in one of these bottles when you're, when you're finished with it. You know, rather than try to ball it up and stick it somewhere, Put it in a bottle. Stick, drop it in your bag somewhere. Easy as can be. So another thing I was thinking, I don't have all the stuff here to, to demonstrate it, but Vaseline-soaked cotton balls. There's another fire starter. Um, you could put five or six cotton balls in there soaked in Vaseline. Not be a problem. Watertight. Not going to affect it. Lint. One of my favorite fire starters is dryer lint. I got bags of it. Just pack that full. You know? There's your fire starter. So I'm looking at fat wood. Right? If I took pieces of fat wood, I'm going to break some apart here if I can. Um, just 
take you a bottle. Got to get it down to size <laughs> that'll fit in the bottle. There is a lot of pieces. I don't know if you have what you can see in there. That's a lot of fat wood. Put the top on it. Watertight. Um, if I'd have gone out and grabbed them, a couple of strike anywhere matches in there. Um, there's plenty of room to add a few matches. And voila, you got a lot of fire starter in there. You put in three or four matches, and with what's in there, you could start several fires with just that. And that can go in a loop on the outside of your bag and not get wet, not have a problem. Um, you can take one of them and just do, I can do any here, let me get a different knife. Let's say Now Gail and I, between us, because I'm on three different kinds of medications, and I just get a 30-day supply, and that's all they package them. Uh, and I'm telling you, the three medications I get, they have this program at Kroger's, costs $36 a year, and your medicine's in different tiers. You know, some medicines are free if you're in that, if you got that, you know, pay that $36 to join. Some are like $2, some are $4. Well, the three prescriptions that I get every year, with in or every month, with insurance, it's not a lot. I mean, it's like, I think nine fifty a month. But uh, by paying the $36 a year, those three prescriptions are on the free list. So I get those free every month by paying the $36 a year instead of paying it monthly. Um, but anyway, see that? Fill you up one of these and it's just, it's like gold. Watertight. And, you know, you have your fat woods or your birch bark uh, spend an afternoon whittling if you will and fill up a lot of these just stick them in you know wherever you, you keep all of your your bushcrafting supplies or backpacking supplies whatever you know you can have 10 of these you know 20 of them and just when you get ready to go grab one if you run out come home Stick your empty aside, put a new one in your bag. Uh, I just, there's just so many uses for these things. Uh, rather than just simply throwing them away or them going in a landfill. So, I wanted to give you some ideas, get some ideas from you. But, I think they're wonderful. Two big lighters in one. Watertight. Condiments. You know, they're not going to leak all in your bag. You don't need a tin. You don't need an Altoids tin. Yes, you could do this same thing in an Altoids tin. This takes up less space. And put a few matches in there. And you have just as much 
in that as you would in an Altoids tin. You don't need all that stuff in an Altoids tin. This, all these shavings, you have them pre-done. Pick yourself up 10 or 20 bottles. There's your prescription. When you get ready to go out for the weekend, grab your prescriptions. Um, another one of the nice things that I like about it, the seeds that you buy for planting, you know, you only use part of the bag and you're trying to roll up the bag and, you know, everything. Right on the bottle, what it is, put all the extra seeds in there and close it up airtight, watertight, and that'll save your seeds. And it's, you know, not a white clear thing. Um, so you can have all your seeds. If you're harvesting your own seeds, you know, there's a place to keep them. Uh, and they can go right in your pantry along with, you know, all the stuff you've canned. But there would be all your seeds for following seasons. So, you know, it's just one of those things. We don't have to throw them away necessarily. Uh, there's always ways to use them out in the, out in the shop, you know, specialty bolts and nuts for, you know, that I had to buy for a particular project, you know, I can mark on here what it's for and just stick those aside. So, they're great for organizing as well. Just, like I said, we get six of them a month minimum. And I don't like throwing them away or them going in the landfill. They're tough, they're airtight, they're watertight. And they're very, very useful. Let me hear your ideas, what you think about them. And I hope you like this video. Damn, I need to clean up that. That's my Mora knife. Uh, one of the best things. Ten dollar knife. And I have used the crap out of it. Uh, it's time to clean them up. i got to get this one cleaned up. You guys laugh about Bear Grylls knives, but I don't have a problem with this knife at all. Wanted to show you some tricks, some tips in using prescription bottles. Don't just automatically throw them away. Take advantage of them. You got free, again, watertight, airtight little storage containers. So, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, like it, share it, uh, comment on it, subscribe to the channel. I'll be, you know... You have no idea what kind of a video I'm going to do next. <laughs> so, it's good. I just do everything. This I thought was pretty cool. As I was, I, I was just looking in there, I got a Tupperware container that's just full of these things. Hope you all have a great week. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.